When the ice melts, things wake up. Some are ancient, some are dangerous. And in 2021, one of them returned. Russian scientists were drilling deep into the Siberian permafrost, collecting frozen samples buried for thousands of years. But inside one layer, they found a microscopic creature. No heartbeat, no breath, no signs of life. It had been frozen for 24,000 years. They brought it back, let it thaw, and then it moved. It ate, it multiplied. This wasn't science fiction, this was real. And once it woke up, it didn't stop. In the remote Arctic expanse of Yakutia, Siberia, a team of Russian scientists drilled deep into ancient permafrost. Their mission was routine, extract core samples from over 11 feet underground to study ancient microbes sealed in the ice. But this time, they pulled up something they'd wish they hadn't. They expected bacteria, maybe dormant spores, nothing more. But buried within one layer was something they didn't recognize, a faint shape translucent, microscopic, and motionless. At first glance, it looked like a fragment, perhaps frozen tissue or an ice distortion. But under controlled thawing, it began to stir. It twitched, then it shifted, then it moved with intent. This wasn't a fossil. It wasn't a single-celled organism either. It had structure, organs, a gut, roughly the size of a grain of sand. But undeniably alive, they ran contamination checks, all negative. Carbon dating confirmed the layer, over 24,000 years old. And yet this animal, later I identified as a B. deloid rotifer wasn't just surviving, it was swimming, eating, reproducing, asexually. The lab couldn't explain it, no heartbeat, no activity for millennia, but now fully functional, even more unsettling. It didn't hesitate. It resumed life as if nothing had happened, no delay, no adjustment, just instinct. The moment they saw it divide, their mission changed. They hadn't just found an ancient specimen. They had resurrected a frozen organism from the ice age, and it didn't return weakened or damaged. It came back ready and perfectly preserved. The creature found in the ancient ice wasn't alien or extinct. Scientists recognized its genus immediately, a deloid rotifer, a microscopic invertebrate found in moss, pond water, and even damp garden soil. But this one didn't match any known species. It was new, undocumented, a rotifer no one had ever seen before. And it wasn't fossilized or damaged. It was alive, moving, functional, cloning itself without a mate. Rotifers are tiny, about half the width of an eyelash, or roughly 200 times smaller than a housefly, but surprisingly complex. They have muscle tissue, a digestive system, a basic nervous network, and rotating cilia that let them swim and feed. That spinning motion is what earned them their name, rotifer, Latin for wheelbearer. They're known for their toughness. Rotifers can survive radiation, dehydration, starvation, even the vacuum of space. Most can dry out for years and spring back to life when rehydrated, but this one didn't just spring back. It restarted after being frozen in permafrost for what carbon dating confirmed was over 24,000 years, and it resumed its life cycle instantly eating, swimming, reproducing, without hesitation, without mutation. It wasn't a damaged relic from the past. It was a fully operational organism from a species we never knew existed, cloning itself like nothing had changed. And that raised the next, far more dangerous question. How does something freeze for 24,000 years and return like nothing happened? What the rotifer pulled off wasn't just survival. It was a biological suspension at a level science barely understands. Most organisms on Earth die when frozen, not from the cold itself, but from what freezing does to water. As temperatures drop, water molecules expand and crystallize. Those sharp ice crystals form inside living cells, tearing membranes, fracturing DNA, and shredding tissue from within. Cryogenic labs have tried for decades to prevent this. They freeze embryos, insects, even organs, but almost nothing survives intact. The rotifer doesn't need a lab. It does what almost nothing else can. It shuts itself off completely. This process is called cryptobiosis. Faced with lethal conditions, the rotifer drops its metabolism to near zero. No heartbeat, no movement, no brain signals, not dead, not alive, just paused. And to survive that state, it rewires itself on a molecular level. It begins replacing the water in its cells with protective sugars, especially trehalose. These sugars act like organic antifreeze. They block ice formation, they stabilize proteins. They lock cellular structures in place without allowing them to collapse. Its DNA coils tighter, its membranes seal shut. Its body transforms into a glass-like structure, biologically frozen in time. Then everything stops. Time, activity, life. It can remain like this for days, years, or in this case, over 24,000. And when the ice finally melts, the rotifer doesn't slowly wake up. It snaps back. Its metabolism returns. Its cells hydrate. It swims. It feeds. 
it clones itself instantly. What shocked scientists most wasn't just that the rotifer revived, it was how much it remembered. Unlike simple microbes, this organism retained behavioral patterns immediately after thawing. It knew how to move, how to feed, how to reproduce, without relearning anything. There were no signs of neurological delay or biological confusion. That level of retention suggests that memory, or at least programmed biological function, can survive deep freeze without degradation. There was no confusion, no delay. The rotifer acted like it had paused time not lived through it, and that reaction raised a chilling possibility. What if some creatures aren't just surviving cold? What if they're using it intentionally, waiting out extinction-level threats until it's safe to return? And that has implications cryobiology still can't fully explain. Scientists had seen rotifers survive extreme conditions before. A few had endured dry moss or frozen dirt for maybe five or ten years, but never like this. Nothing had ever come back from 24,000 years, with its biology, behavior, and in instincts still intact. And that's what broke the rules. The rotifer's survival didn't just defy expectations, it broke biology. Because biologically speaking, it shouldn't have happened. Over thousands of years, DNA is expected to unravel, hit by cosmic rays, radiation, and natural decay. But this rotifer's genetic code didn't just endure, it held its shape like nothing happened. That's why we find ancient remains with fragmented genetic code, not pristine genomes. But this rotifer came back functioning as if time hadn't touched it. Its ability to reboot after 24,000 years implies one of two things. Either its DNA remained miraculously intact, or it has built-in repair systems we don't fully understand. And that's just the beginning. Until now, most cryptobiosis studies focused on single-celled organisms. Simple life can hibernate, but rotifers are animals, with organs, tissues, and interdependent systems. Coordinating a return from that kind of shutdown was believed to be impossible. Even tardigrades, often called the toughest animals on Earth, haven't been revived from anything close to this time span. Which leads to a bigger mystery. Are rotifers a one-off, or is cryptobiosis is more powerful than we ever imagined. If one tiny invertebrate can pull this off, what else might be capable of it? Could other ancient animals be buried in the permafrost? Are there frozen life forms we haven't identified yet? Some we may not even recognize as life? Right now, there's no unified explanation. Scientists know what happened. They watched it unfold under microscopes. But how this creature survived the physics of freezing, the biology of decay, and the stretch of time, and that doesn't just rewrite biology textbooks, it reshapes what we think life can be. The rotifer's survival raised questions far beyond just one freak event, because scientifically, this shouldn't have happened. Even in ideal conditions, DNA decays over time. Background radiation, molecular instability, and even Earth's own natural forces slowly break the genetic code apart. That's why ancient remains come back in fragments, never whole. But this rotifer didn't just come back, it came back clean, fully intact, fully functional, no mutation mutation, no degradation, like time hadn't touched it at all. That shouldn't be possible, unless one of two things is true. Either its DNA was miraculously preserved, or it has built-in repair systems that science still doesn't understand. And that's just the beginning. Cryptobiosis, this biological shutdown, has mostly been seen in microbes and spores. Simple organisms, no nerves, no organs. But rotifers are animals. They have systems, muscles, tissues, a nervous network. And yet, this one shut itself down for nearly 24,000 years, then rebooted like nothing happened. Even tardigrades, the so-called immortal animals of Earth, haven't been revived from anything close to that timeline. So now scientists are asking, is this species a fluke? Or is cryptobiosis more powerful than we ever imagined? If one microscopic animal can do this, what else is buried in the permafrost? What else is waiting beneath layers of ancient ice? Right now there's no unified explanation, just questions. This wasn't a lab experiment or some genetic trick. It wasn't engineered or manipulated. It returned on its own. For years, years, science assumed that life had limits, a clock you couldn't pause, a line you couldn't cross. But this tiny creature just proved otherwise. If rotifers can survive for 24,000 years, what does that say about life's true capacity? Cryopreservation, once dismissed as science fiction, suddenly feels real, not just for organs or cells, but maybe one day for people. This wasn't a breakthrough created in a lab. It was written by evolution, tested by time, and hidden in the ice until now. And maybe that's the real story here. Not just that, life came back, but it came back intact. And in doing so, it opened a door. Not just for science, but for us. Thanks for watching the video. Subscribe for more interesting videos like this, and press bell icon for regular updates.